Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add a video underneath a waveform right inside of Adobe After Effects. So once we've got After Effects open and we've created a brand new composition, we can begin by importing some video and some audio. And I'm just gonna scrub through to my favorite part of the video, and I'm just gonna increase the size of this. I'm gonna go into scale, and I'm just gonna increase the scale and move this up into the center. Now from here, I need to go ahead and create a brand new black solid. So I'll go into layer, new, solid, and we'll change the color of this to black. So make sure this is black and we'll just press OK on this. Now from here, we'll go into effects and presets and we'll go and search for audio waveform. Now we'll drop audio waveform onto the black solid and it's super important at the bottom of the audio waveform settings to tick the box that says composite on original. This basically means that our black video will not disappear. We'll still have this black video. This is a really important part of the process. Now from here, we'll go up to the top of the settings in audio waveform and we'll change the audio layer from black solid one to music. And this is gonna be your audio file. And as you can see here, the audio waveform is being generated. So from here, you can see we can move the position of the left side of the waveform around and we can move the right side of the waveform around. So move this to wherever you want this to be, but I'm just gonna have this at the very left and the very right of the screen. Now from here, we'll go up to maximum height and we really want to increase this. So we'll pull this up to around 1000 and then we'll increase the thickness to around 8.5. From here, we'll pull the softness all the way down. So we'll try and get rid of the softness as much as possible. And then as you can see in the displayed samples, if we have a smaller number, we're not gonna have much to work with. But if we pull this all the way up to around 200, then we're gonna have a lot of samples to work with. So you wanna pull this up to around 150. Now from here, we're gonna pull the audio duration milliseconds up to around 400 pixels and we're gonna change the inside color of the waveform to green. Now make sure you copy this code in the color picker window. So press Command C on your keyboard. We'll press OK. And then we'll go to the outside color and we'll paste that code in the box inside this window. And that means the inside and the outside color of this waveform is going to be the exact same. And this is really important. Now from here, we've got this really awesome green waveform reacting to our music, but of course, we still can't see our footage. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and search for key, and this is in the effects and presets window. We'll drop key lights on top of the waveform, and inside of key lights, we're gonna use the screen color, we're gonna use the color picker, and we're just gonna select that green color. And there you go. As you can see, the footage is bleeding through that waveform, the waveform's playing, it's reacting to the music, and we can see our footage underneath the waveform. It's a really simple, really awesome, but really powerful effect. And that is how you do it. And there you go, that's it from me for today. So if you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.